Hey guys, we're gonna give this old, worn, very stained sofa a proper second life today. I've got the Fabricote fabric paint in the colour charcoal, which we're going to use in a paint sprayer. I got this for free on Facebook Marketplace. It has been professionally cleaned. We did that as soon as we got it, but it's super, super stained and just looking pretty tatty, to be honest. Oh dear, got a bit of a problem. This is as far as I've got, so I've got like a good base coat on the body of the sofa. But as you can see, it is by no means looking finished. And I got a bit of a base coat on one side of each of the cushions, but that's it. Three bottles, all diluted 50-50 with water. I'm gonna have to stop and order more dye, which is quite frustrating. Perhaps if I hadn't got so much on my feet, there'd be enough. Okay, we are ready for round two with dark grey. I'm not taking any chances this time with my feet. Okay, so I have one bottle left. I've got through so much of this stuff. Definitely my main focus is I need to get the cushions darker. Anyway, it's all looking a bit of a mess at the moment, but I'm hoping the outcome will be good. I'm on day three of spraying this sofa now. I've spoken quite a lot to the furniture clinic who sell this Fabricote paint. So from what they've said, they're changing their formula and they've been having some problems with the dye. So I think mine is not the typical experience. They've actually sent me another four 500 milliliter bottles of the dark gray free of charge, which is really kind of them. I'm gonna put them in my sprayer today and I'm gonna go over the cushions behind me again. My advice would be before starting a project with this paint, I would give the sales team a call. I would just, get some advice, get some guarantees. It can become very time consuming and very expensive very quickly. Having said that, I have a feeling the um, outcome when we eventually get there is gonna be really good and I'm gonna be really pleased. Well, it took all four bottles but I think they're done. Once it's all dried, I'm gonna use this little brush that they sent me um, to brush down any sort of excess dye and just to soften the fabric a little bit. And then we'll put it all back together and see what it looks like. So the colouring is looking a little mottled, it's far from perfect, but with a little bit of styling, it's a vast improvement. I hope this video has been helpful if you've been considering doing something similar or if you've been considering using the Fabricote paint. Definitely overall a very positive improvement on the sofa, so I am happy. So question of the day is, would you be interested 
in an update on this sofa in a few months time when it's had some use would you be interested to know um, whether the textures improve let me know in the comments below if that's something you would be interested in and i will be sure to get that sorted for you